Hey guys, um, Nate here. I'm going to be reviewing um, a film today called Big Bad Wolf. I have noticed that uh, Tony has been doing sort of um, a few independent low budget films. So I was going to review uh, uh, some of mine for the next few videos. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing Big Bad Wolf which is a low-budget indie film, you know, it's not big Hollywood. But, um, actually, out of all of the low-budget horror films that I've seen, this one actually looks like it could have been in a theater. Great quality camera, I just want to say that. Um, now, as Fangoria Magazine puts on the uh, DVD, A Bloody Great Time, and on the back, this is not your granddaddy's Wolfman. This is a, a werewolf-type film, and, um, I mean, it, it's got a, a great cast. The acting is fantastic. Pretty much during a deadly game of cat and mouse with a bloodthirsty werewolf, Derek Cowley and his friends discover a horrifying secret about the monster they must kill to survive. Featuring a cunning and sadistically funny breed of werewolf unlike you've never seen, Big Bad Wolf is a sexy thrill ride full of unimaginable horror. Now you guys know my type of reviewing. I don't spend ten minutes telling you guys the whole movie because that just ruins it. Um, like I said, it's a werewolf film. You know, it's all the rules of a werewolf movie. You've got, you know, the actual wolf. You don't know who it is, and the characters have to go and find out who the werewolf is. Um, I mean, it's really that simple. Uh, you know, like I said, the main character is Derek Cowley, uh, you know, a teenager uh, with a stepdad who may or not be, may or not be, the werewolf. So, a uh, little hint there, just telling you. A little spoiler, sort of, if you get what I'm saying. It also stars Kimberly J. Brown. Uh, I remember when I was little, watching Disney Channel, you know, all the Halloween Town movies. I uh, actually used to like those as a kid. I actually did. But uh, she's in here as this goth, and she's pretty hot, actually. Um, but yeah, Kimberly J. Brown, uh, Richard Tyson from Black Hawk Down, and uh, There's Something About Mary. It's got Trevor Duke from Alias and Christopher Shire from Traffic and CSI Miami. No, I do not have a CSI shirt on. It says CSI, Can't Stand Idiots. And uh, special appearances by David Naughton in America, Wonderwolf in London, you know, and Clint Howard, Cinderella Man in, in House of the Dead. So it's got great cameos uh, in throughout the film. Lovely special effects, very bloody and gory. Uh, if you guys are definitely gore hounds, this is definitely a werewolf movie to see. Um, there's, you know, a few boobies and titties here and there, so, I mean, it'll also get, you know, the teenager, you know, uh, which that's really all we want to see in a horror film. But, um, seriously, the, the acting is fantastic. For a low-budget film, I think out of all, as you can see, just this is just one shelf behind me, and you can't really even see all of them, but out of all the movies I have, the low-budget, independent horror films, this takes my pick for the greatest acting, cinematography, and since it's a low-budget film and it didn't get a theatrical release, that you know, of course it was, you know, an independent film and it went straight to video. I'm surprised that it didn't get a theatrical release. I really am. But I mean, it's it's just fantastic. The DVD does come with a few bonus features, creating the wolf, uh, the director's commentary in a music video. Also, the music in this uh, film is fantastic. I loved it uh, because it's definitely great music. Um, you know, like I said, there's even a music video for it. It's a fantastic movie. And uh, if you haven't seen it or uh, you want to see it because of this review, I got it at $1.99. $1.99 for a fantastic movie at Kmart, of all places. So uh, go down to your, you know, your local Kmart. You know, it's, I mean, come on, it's $2.00 pretty much, and, you know, tax. I mean, that's not a lot for a great movie. It's just a fantastic movie, and um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys do. Hopefully you check it out. Pretty much, I'm going to definitely give this film a 4 out of 5 stars. You know, there are a few things wrong with it. I mean, you know, anyway, this is my review. Um, I think it's, yeah, it's 550, 554, so I got like 5 minutes. So uh, I, I will be watching the Super Bowl, you know, so I got about five minutes, so, uh, uh, and I will see you guys later. Bye.